Hey there. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? Hey there. What are you? All right, all right. Hey there, Ivana. <laughs> hey, my friend. What is going on? Much love. <laughs> We are here, we are here. About to take my first sip with you, my friend. We just been on a dry fast. We were gonna do the three dayer with Trevor. We ended up doing four days. Feeling really good right now. Hey, what's going on, Mr. Kapule? Mr. Gratitude. The great attitude. <laughs> so we just did a four day dry fast. We started on Saturday. And yeah, I'm going to take my first sip here with you. Hey, Stephanie, what's going on, Victoria? Any questions that you might have, go ahead and shoot them. Hit that little question bubble right there and shoot any questions that you might have, but I just wanted to celebrate with you, congratulate with you. I'm proud of us for the growth and expansion that we've been having this year. It's been such a wonderful time, y'all. The energy is so high. I'm just enjoying it, just a gratitude for living and giving. So Fasting with Trevor, you can go follow him at Fasting with Trevor. We did a three-day dry fast with him, and uh, I started air feasting Saturday, so I ended up going uh, through Saturday all the way up until today. And I started with Eli, Elijah Barber, if you know him. Uh, he's at Eli Barber one You can follow him. And we did a live session. We did a live on uh, Saturday, speaking on our expectations going into uh, the prana days, and then what we were to expect coming out of these prana days. And so, yeah, so this whole time we've been air feasting, just been enjoying the prana, enjoying the energy all around us, and really working with the chi. You know, a lot of this time has been, the energy has been really high. At first, the first day was the most challenging. The first day and halfway into the second day were the most challenging for me. When it got halfway through the second day and into the third day, oh, it was easy. It was so easy. It was just the only thing I was worried about after that was what do I do with all this energy? <laughs> so I had to get very creative to use the energy to utilize all the extra energy that came into the vessel after the first initial day and a half. Um, that was when, when I got over that hump, that was when it's like, okay, here we go. Here we go now. Now it's on you. Now it's, it's all mental. I mean, it's always all mental, but, um, you know, every successful attempt, you get more confidence, you get more strength. This is what I was telling, uh, my brother Elijah. And unfortunately he's unable to make it right now. He's a little bit busy on business, but, uh, he's with us in spirit today. He, he couldn't make it, but, um, but yeah, you know, it's just a wonderful time to be aligned and um, just enjoying this prana, just enjoying this energy. And I'm going to take my first sip with you after these four days. And I know it's going to be delightful. Whoo! Part of me almost didn't even want to break the fast. Part of me wanted to just continue on and keep going. But this rising, I did some yoga, I did some qigong, some tai chi, some breath work. And I was, you know, listening to my body and my body said, yeah, you can go ahead and, and have something. Go ahead and, you know, see where you're at, see how you feel and uh, check in and, and have something and then see, see the difference. So that's what we're going to do. So much love, my friend. Any questions that you have, definitely drop them down below. But I'm going to go ahead and take this sip and then we'll transition into the day. Much love to you. Gratitude to you. Anything can be done, you know? I love the quotes by Helen Keller. Helen Keller said, you know, while they were saying amongst themselves, it cannot be done, it was done. 
Nelson Mandela, it's only impossible until it's done. You know, nothing is impossible. The word itself says I'm possible. So when I, the way that I come at these fast, these dry fast, um, you know, going through these days with no food, no water, um, and, and a lot of times not even water touching the body, like not even taking showers, not even washing your hands, just completely, completely dry. Um, it's, for me, it's mental. For me, it's not about, uh, you know, what do I need to worry about drinking or doing enemas and detoxing before I go into it. For me, it's, it's literally mind games, mind games, y'all. And you learn how to work with it. You learn how to work with your body. You learn how to listen to yourself. And you learn that, you know, for the longest time, I thought I knew what hunger was. I thought that you know, feeling a rumble in my stomach growing up, I thought that was hunger. That's, that's what I thought it was to be hungry. But then when I started doing, you know, just these, these things, like really pushing my limits, going two weeks without eating, going, you know, without eating or drinking, and then like really going into chronic stages, I realized I never knew what hunger was. I always thought I did. I never did. Because if left up to the people that taught me growing up, I should perish after five days without food. I should perish after three days without water. But we understand now that it is a fallacy. It's, it's only as hard as you think, you know? It's only as impossible as you make it. So we are constantly becoming all the time what we think about most of the time. And whatever you focus on expands in your life. If you think that you cannot do something, you are right, you are correct. If you think that you can do something, you are right, you are correct. So the subconscious mind, it never says no, it never denies anything that you give it. It's taking whatever it receives and it's giving it right back to you, you know? So understand that it's all a state of mind, it's a state of being, and you can be it whenever you want, however you want, you can customize this avatar. You can shape your body like you like it. There are no limitations, but your imagination. Your imagination is your only limitation in life as far as I'm concerned. Bruce Lee once said, there are no limits. There are only plateaus and you must not stay there. You must go beyond them. So only one who is willing to risk going too far can find out how far one can go. And you will be the testimony for yourself. Not me, not Trevor, not Eli, not Ellie Tom, not anybody that you look up to on this pranic path, on this journey, if you are in this, if you are learning about breatharianism, the, the most powerful testimony is going to be your own experience. So nothing and no one can take away your self-realization, your experience that you yourself have gone through. So once you go through something on your own, you realize what you need and what you don't need. What sustains you and what never sustained you. What you thought sustained you, but it was all in the mind, right? So we go through levels of enlightenment, just like levels of detox. But I think what stops most people on this path, whenever they're trying to push themselves past a certain limit, is for one, the belief that they can do it. They see other people doing something, but at the core of themselves, they don't truly know that they can. And I feel like the more you do something, the more you stretch yourself, just like yoga, just like a rubber band, stretching, coming back in, stretching a little bit, coming back in, stretching a little bit more, coming back in, you realize that you can extend those boundaries. You can broaden your horizons in life. And it's a beautiful thing to know that you can be sustained and nourished by other sources, that you don't ever have to count on a solid, a liquid, anything externally to sustain you. All that you need is within you now. Can you imagine a world for yourself where you are completely self-sustained, you are completely autonomous, and you are working with the forces, the subtle energy forces that are constantly all around us, the cosmic energy that is raining on us both day and night, 
that things that we cannot see, some people can see them. Some people see auras, some people see energy. I'm not one of those people at the moment yet. I'm, I'm learning how to see energy and learning how to work with it. But there are people that can see this prana and these energy forces that are all around us, constantly moving, constantly spiraling and vortexing all over plant life, trees, the sun, the air, the sky. Energy is everywhere. You know, you, you don't lack energy, you are energy. And you can draw on this energy from other sources. So there is no lack, there is no scarcity. And when your body gets the memo, when you, when you undergo enough subconscious programming to deprogram and reprogram and your body gets the understanding that it can do this, we can do this, right? The cells in your body get enough ammunition to overthrow the old government because that is the mind. The mind is governing all of this. It's listening to you. Whatever you tell it, it's going to listen to you. It always says yes. It never says no. And it always takes whatever you say literally you know so even if you're joking with yourself using self-deprecating humor be careful because your body is going to you know all the cells in your body are constantly listening to your internal dialogue your self-talk and you know many of us we we listen to ourselves too much and don't speak to ourselves enough Sometimes you got to speak your way into this. You got to look in the mirror and tell yourself, I know I can do it. I am more than enough. I am abundant. I am amazing. I am astounding. I am astonishing. Every day, I break new barriers. Every day and every way, I'm getting better and better. And you start speaking to yourself in this way, and the body receives what you believe, and this you can achieve. So you cannot achieve what you do not believe, and you will not receive what you do not believe. But we are going past the belief today into knowing, which is the inner knowing that is going to go on with you for lifelong. When you do something like we just did, you know, like a three or four day drive fast, you will forever know that you made it, that you're still here. And even if you don't go back into this lifestyle, even if you continue to drink, even if you continue to eat, nothing can take away that seed that has been planted. A mind that has been stretched by a new idea can never return to its original dimensions. There's no going back from whence you came. You know, you might go back into the frequency of the densities of the food and the things that you once indulged in, and that's okay. There's no right or wrong on this journey. There's no failure. There's no righteous or evil on this journey. There's no judgment in that way. It's just understanding that we have the choice. Because for the longest time, I never knew I had the option. I never knew I had the choice. I never even knew that I could feel this way, that I could feel energy streaming into the body whenever I was unafraid to let go, whenever I had the courage and the bravery, and we know that these things do not exist without fear. There has to be some fear, there has to be some doubt whenever you are able to be courageous. Because the people we look at that are courageous and brave they're not the ones without fear. They're the ones that push on despite their fear. You know, courage is not having the strength to go on. It is going on when you don't have the strength. It is being able to push past your limits, push past your mental barriers. And that is something that can be a wonderful teacher for you. Just like pain can be a wonderful teacher. Just like experience, which is the harshest teacher, it's the only one that gives us the lesson after it gives us the test. So allow your test to be a testimony for someone else in life. Allow your mess to be a message in life and allow whatever you are going through in life to be able to impart a word for someone who needs it. And you never know who that is. You never know who needs to hear your message. Your voice has value. Your voice is valid. And whatever you go through, if you've been able to pick yourself out of a low frequency, if you've been able to accomplish something in life that you never knew you could, if you've been able to see the invisible and thus achieve, achieve the impossible in life, then you are already certified coach. You are already qualified, in my opinion, to be able to assist someone else on their path, on their journey. Let no imposter syndrome conquer you, my friend, in life. Let you understand that you are worthy, more than worthy, and you always have been. So, much love. We're going to take 
the first sip here <laughs> to all my friends, my Shivambu family. This is uh, going to be the first sip that I've taken in the last uh, four days since Saturday. So I know this is going to be good. I'm just going to just going to hover, you know, my hand here and really infuse this with positive energy. And you can do the same with me if you'd like. Really just giving that positive energy to this liquid, giving thanks. I am grateful for this water. I am thankful for this water. I am blessed with this water. Thank you for this water. I am grateful for this water. I am thankful for this water. I am blessed. We are blessed, my friend. Thank you so much. And you understand that just like the Masaru Emoto experiments, you can influence the state of water, the vibrational state, the molecular structure of water. You can change it just by your very thought, just by your emotions, your feeling, your heart frequency changes the molecular structure of these things, the water within as well. So if you can change the water outside, you can change the water inside. And you know they say that we're made up of a large percentage of water. So infuse whatever you are about to intake with gratitude. You know, I grew up in the church. I grew up Christian. I grew up actually Seventh-day Adventist. And we would always pray before we ate. And now I understand fully today, it's the gratitude. It's the energy that you are putting into whatever sustenance you are about to consume. Giving it gratitude changes the energy you know so much love thank you so much thank you thank you thank you i feel your energy my friend thank you so much for sending it my way it is received it is received so whoo <laughs> you almost get emotional in moments like this when you've gone without for so long you you start to almost like ooh, you almost teary-eyed like just the gratitude gets so so great within you Oh, okay. Hmm. <laughs> so much love right now. Okay. Hmm. Take a breath. Take a breath, Jerome. Breathe. Y'all are probably saying, "What's wrong, Jerome? Just drink it." Like, what are you? What are you doing? Like, if you could feel what I'm feeling right now, just like, ooh, I wish I could give it to you. Oh my gosh. Woo. <laughs> Woo. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're going to take our time today. We're going to take our time today, yes. <sighs> mm. Oh yeah. Yep. Yep. Gratitude, gratitude, my friend. Thank you so much. Blessings to you. Blessings to you. This has been a short message. Uh, we are here. We started the dry fast once again for those who are just now joining. We started it on Saturday. We've been air feasting since Saturday, and now we just broke it uh, with some holy water, the living water. So much love and make the rest of your life and the breath of your life the best of your life my friend be well be blessed and definitely you know if you would like uh to be notified whenever we do these live sessions hit the bell notification next to my name thank you so much for the hearts the likes and shares i feel your love much gratitude and appreciation for you inspiration if you would like inspiration daily we have it on the open palm podcast that is the open palm podcast the link is in the bio for you your daily inspiration, my friend, and your listening pleasure. And we will take care. Hop up in my DMs. If I don't know you, you know, a stranger is just a friend I have not met yet. Would love to hear about your healing journey and see where you are in life today and what inspires you to continue the things that you are, whether it be the practices that you do. And um, yes, let's get to know each other. All right, much love. Take care, and we will catch you again very, very soon. <laughs>